We have been running a Kickstarter campaign for two weeks and took the opportunity to create open source game demos, videos and guides to help you create games. In this video, we are going to share all the free resources we created over the past two weeks and what we are going to do next. You can find all the links in the description below. I'll let my teammates present you their projects and future tutorial series. Johnny's working on a rhythm game, Razvan on real-time strategy, Francois on simulation, and I'm tackling JRPG combat to start with. All the free and open source content we released is sponsored by our crowdfunding campaign. If you'd like to get a great Godot course and support our work, check out Godot 2D Secrets on Kickstarter. You have less than 24 hours left to become a backer. Let's start with Johnny. During the Kickstarter, I worked on a rhythm game inspired by games such as Osu and Elite Beat Agents. It has touch support and works nicely on mobile as well. Patterns are designed in the editor, which are used to create the track or the beat map. For the demo, we use a track by Incomputech called Cephalopod. In the course, you will learn how to sync gameplay to music, but also the more intricate task of making sure we compensate for audio lag. We'll dive deep into game feel and make sure that the buttons feel fantastic when they're pressed. I'm Razvan and during this GDQuest Kickstarter campaign I worked on two guides. One is an overview of what game engines are and for beginners, curious people and programmers that never used game engines before. The second guide is for helping you choose the right game engine for your needs. I also started working on a real-time tactical strategy demo inspired by Faster Than Light. I'll be focusing on combat and unit management because this is at the core of the game. I want to give you a simplified but great real-time tactical combat demo for Godot. For example, right now I'm iterating over Soldier Path calculations to make the game enjoyable. I already implemented unit movement around the ship and I'll be refining until it feels great. In Godot 2D Secrets I'll be covering mechanics such as weapons and shields, helm and evading attacks, ship sensors and hazard management for fire and oxygen depletion. I'll be covering algorithms and solutions you can adapt to implement similar systems in your own projects. For the first half of the Kickstarter, I wrote several tutorials for the GD Quest website. One on getting started using the debugger. One is using the profiler to measure your code to figure out where it's going slow. One on optimizing your code using Godot's built-in functions because they're faster using C++. Using better code practices just in VD script in general. And one on optimizing a 3D scene to lower the render times. For the second half, I've been prototyping my demo for the course, a simulated builder game in an isometric perspective. You gather some resources, you process them manually using the furnace, then you work your way up to putting down a generator, add some wires, some transport pipes, so you can build even more complex stuff. There's going to be a lot of focus on decoupling and making sure that simulated entities don't interfere or even know about each other. A lot of the communication is going to be done through signals and events. On top of that, we'll look at using an isometric tile map, any gotchas and setup that requires, and also some inventory and quick bar and drag and drop shenanigans. Okay, I guess it's my turn. So, during the campaign, well, first I've been hired by Godot to work on the official documentation, and I covered the plan for my first job in another video. I made quite a few videos to promote Godot as well. I'll let you check the links in the description below. I started working on a JRPG ATB based combat demo, ATB being active time battle as in all Final Fantasy games. And while it's basic right now, I want to show you real world code, like how you would handle enemy AI for example, and also how you can have a variety of commands and skills on the characters. I'm going to cover all the mechanics you can see on screen, how you handle the user interface and decouple it from the game code as much as possible, but we're also going to use the command pattern. And with that, we're getting to the end of the Kickstarter campaign. I want to thank all the persons who believe in us and support us, but with that, I want to thank you kindly for watching. Be creative, have fun, let's see one another in the next one. Bye-bye.